Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley, and today I'm going to be showing you our new Thule rooftop tent for four people. So I got a lot of kids behind me, but here's our tent. Like I said, it's a four person tent, so it's the Thule Approach Large. So it's for three to four people, so it's going to be me, my husband, our two kids, and dog all sleeping up there. So. We'll see how it goes. This is our first night sleeping in it. I'm gonna show you a quick tour before we put the rain fly on. Hopefully there's enough light to see it. Here we go up the ladder. Okay, so here's the inside. Right now we have the windows rolled back so it's just the bug net screen. But all of these open up and you can even unzip these so you can actually completely have those open. It's an insulated mattress. We're thinking about getting a pad for it but for now it's good. So it's got some pockets for storage. That is the rain fly, which we're gonna put on right now. But it's pretty spacious up here. I am 5'3". Okay, my feet are at the end and my head is at the end. So I can sleep uh, perpendicular just fine, which is great because that's probably how we'll sleep with the kids and our dog. But I'm kind of excited about it. Here's our view out of it. Oh, and here comes my toddler. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, nothing. Oh, I got some mud on me from Jean. He's looking at the mud on my jacket. Okay. Well, we are awake. Yeah, do you want to go out on the ladder? Yeah. Logan already took Jean and Summit out. We slept really good until about 5.30, and then Jean woke up and just wanted to nurse. So everyone else slept fine. I just had to nurse her and I have a hard time sleeping when I do that, but. Good morning, it's the next day and we had a successful night's sleep in our rooftop tent. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little tour of what it looked like. So I'm gonna start up front, I think, actually. So right here is where I slept. This is the door, <laughs> there's the a ladder line. and then you come up here and I slept right here. We put a blanket down for our baby because she doesn't sleep on a pillow and this is just like a little bit of a loud material. So I figured the blanket would be softer and we could wrap up in it if we needed to. And we just put our shoes right in the corner. I wanna get a boot bag that hangs from it so we don't have to have our shoes inside, but for now it works. And then I, like, I brought my pillow with me. And then here is where our baby slept in her sleeping bag. Both of our kids sleep in the Morrison outdoor sleeping bags. That's what they were sleeping in. So. Our baby was right here. She's 18 months and she did, she did pretty good. Logan was right here. Our toddler was right here. This was zipped down so he couldn't get out. And then our dog, he laid on the synthetic blanket to keep it kind of our tent clean. And then we just throw it over him to keep him warm. So, and that was great for him. So he was at the feet of our toddler. So we do have a power station. This is what we plugged our phone in last night. We do have a sound machine, but it, we knew the battery was low. So we use our phones as a sound machine and this is perfect. We also charge our headlamps with it, the kids Yodo player. Um, speaking of headlamps, there's a headlamp there for our toddler and then the Yodo player. This is great. We love our Yodo player for traveling. And so last night we played a Yodo card while we were all getting ready for bed to just help the kids wind down. We played, um, Frog and Toad is kind of a calm one. And then my toddler fell asleep listening to that. Over on these um, little holds, we have our Chuck keys. Logan brought his Kindle. Did you end up reading it? No, I was, I fell asleep. <laughs> okay, well, just <laughs> in case he had that. Um, another headlamp. Um, this is our toddler's little stuffed animal he likes to sleep with when we go camping or backpacking. My headlamp and then my AirPods. I did listen to a book last night after the kids were asleep, so. That's always fun. And that's pretty much it. We had, you know, diapers and wipes up here in case we needed to do a diaper change or for in the morning, it's actually nice. We didn't have to get down and get anything. We probably would have had room for our duffel bag of clothes, but we um, chose just to put it in the cab of our truck. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna just talk about some of the features of the um, Thule tent. I think I already said it's the Thule approach, three to four person, so it's the largest size. So obviously we have, this is the rain cover. You don't have to have this on, but we put it on and we're just gonna leave it on. The rain cover, as you can see, it kind of extends uh, to like yeah, a little port Yeah, we put these pole, the little poles out to help it so it hangs out to get some good airflow up here. Um, right now we have these tied up, but these come down and you can zip it and it actually stays 
pretty dark. Our kids didn't wake up till like eight and it was not super bright in here. So you can just um, tie, so you can have it completely open or if you're worried about bugs or um, if our kids are up here, then usually we have these zipped up so we don't have any accidents. But that, you can just have that so you still have some light butt protection from the bugs, which is really nice. That's what we have going on over here. There's a flap that comes all the way down. Um, what other features? A common issue with rooftop tents we have discovered is condensation on the inside, but truly this is newer ones, I think in general, are made with a material that doesn't create, uh, there's condensation does not collect on the tent walls. And we found that out because our um, friends, they have their rooftop tent, which did have a lot of condensation from last night, and we woke up and didn't have any. So that's a definitely a pro about these tents. The mattresses, I would say that's kind of a downside is the mattress was not the most comfortable. I am a side sleeper. My shoulder and hip would get sore and I just turn over. It didn't keep me up. I was still like, I feel like I still got good sleep, but we might upgrade to a comfier mattress, which is a separate purchase, but it is an option, which is kind of nice. So here it is from the outside. So this is, we had, we didn't have any sort of system to set up the, the rooftop tent. So we uh, got this roof rack for the bed of the truck. And that's what the tent is actually sitting on over the bed of the truck. Makes it really nice and convenient. Yeah, um, so it's over the bed. You can put it over the cab, but we opted for that. So we still have plenty of room under Neath and in our truck bed for all of our gear, which is really nice. A couple of issues we have been running into is getting Summit up there. That's been the trickiest thing because it's pretty high up. I mean, I can touch it when my arm is extended, so it's high up there. Um, so we're gonna try and find a ramp for him to get up. Um, right now, Logan's just carried him up and I mean, it's fine, but not the most ideal situation. And then just making sure our kids are safe up there obviously is a priority, so we're changing a diaper. But um, making sure that the kids are not playing up there without us up there. I don't mind if my toddler's up there playing with his cars because he knows not to unzip it. We've talked to him about it, but like I wouldn't want multiple kids playing up there. And then, yeah, just making sure everyone's safe and nobody's gonna fall out. That's obviously a concern, but not enough that we didn't want to get it. Also, it's a three to four person tent. So I would say you can fit three, just like average size people in it comfortably. We can fit four of us because our kids are little. And Logan and I, I'm 5'3", Logan is 5'7". I can sleep directly perpendicular, whereas Logan has to lay at a little bit of an angle. But if you're really tall, that's probably not an option unless you're really diagonal. And in that case, it probably would be a lot more comfortable with three people, but with two adults, two kids and a dog, we made it work and it was great. Just took out the little bars that were holding it out, but then my friend showed us that you do these little buttons. That keeps it holding it down so it doesn't kind of flap everywhere. Yeah, when you fold it up, there's not a ton of fabric hanging out. So we'll just put those down and now we're gonna fold it up. So first thing you gotta do is pull the ladder out all the way. Can we go around and tuck everything in? Okay, we got it folded down, so now we're just gonna tuck in all of the extra fabric. It Velcros down a little bit, and then we're gonna put the cover on and zip it around. And we just hang the string up in the little pocket. Okay, it's all closed up and ready to roll. All right, let me know if you have any questions about the Thule Approach rooftop tent. Uh, this was only our first trip, but hopefully we're gonna take it out a lot more this summer. If you're interested in more videos about camping with kids, hiking, backpacking, all of those good things, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.